Good morning, everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about what is new in this update because there's quite a few things that you might have missed. But before we jump into the video, if you're new to the channel, upload NGS content daily. So if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the very first thing I want to go over is the event shop has updated. So when we go to the event shop, we go to exchange seasonal points. You can see that we have new items. You can actually get a total of 40 of these tickets now. So if you purchase that, you can see that you can get 40 of these uh, autumn 2023 special scratch tickets. So I'm just going to buy that because uh, why the heck not? There's also a new build part, the Moon Gaze Holograph, so let's pick that up. We have the Rappy Toy Glasses, which is a uh, pretty troll, but uh, of course we're going to pick that up. Look at that. That that is um that is that is a look. We have the new Motion Glide Cloud Riding B. Do not mistake this from the one last week. The last week was actually a Motion Dash. This is a Motion Glide. So um yeah, this is free, not bad, you know, same looking gas cloud over here so you can pick that up. We have the new VG Halfa Wetlands. This one, um, okay, it, it looks pretty basic. We can pick that up. We have uh, 100 star gems again, so we can pick that up. And we have special scratch tickets. So um, yeah, you know, we might as well just pick all of that new stuff up. So just make sure that you actually buy all of this. Now we scroll down a little bit further, you may actually notice that we have new materials as well. We've got more photon scales, more blizzardium, more infernium. You've got more defi capsules so now you can actually buy 40 of each of the defi capsules if you want however the phase one capsules have gone down in price significantly now so uh you know you could buy them off the player market if they're going for like a thousand meseta you could do that instead however some capsules are still pretty expensive for example the defi plutos are still going for quite a bit of money so you can purchase these over here as well as the makimis now if you're like me and you're planning to do the dual quest phase two but you're still missing a couple capsules you can also purchase purchase them here just understand that the phase two capsules are even cheaper than the phase one capsules i don't really know why but um you know that's just something to keep note of before you spend your seasonal points you might want to check the player market first other than that we did get more gigastat fours so make sure that you actually buy out all your gigastat fours over here because you know they're always really nice to have you can't really go wrong with extra gigastat fours um, we scroll down here we've got some extra soul fours doesn't really matter dreadkeeper fours don't matter either you got a couple doable fours over here these are pretty good as a stepping stone you could definitely use a bunch of doable fours and then we've got more golden prim swords golden prim armors i think these are old actually these are not new but the alpha reactors are new we do have another 250 alpha reactors so actually i'm gonna pick that up right now so let's get the alpha reactors first come here boom 250 of them that's actually gonna cost you 225 seasonal points we're gonna purchase all that wabam and once we do that let's sell all of this boom that's another 875,000 meseta very very nice and then we can consume all of these uh consumables that we just picked up the next thing I want to talk about is the new limited time quest drill Caldera Cleanup Operation. The TLDR is this limited time quest is not very good if you are farming for any of the featured items. However, it is amazing if you are title farming. The reason for this is because there are a lot of rare enemies that spawn in this limited time quest, even though you do need to queue up and depending on what ship you're playing on, queue times may vary. I know on ship 4, people are queuing for like 10 minutes for a single game. Uh, if you have to queue up for 10 minutes, I don't really recommend farming this then in that case. But if you are playing on ship 2, where queue times are between 30 seconds to a minute, um, it's worth spamming this if you want a title hunt and you want the SG and you want the titles, simply because there are a lot of rare enemies in this limited time quest. The way this limited time quest works is there's five separate waves of enemies. There's a lot of enemies, so the limited time quest is actually pretty fun to play. The only issue with this limited time quest is not a lot of good items drop. After doing 10 runs of this limited time quest, I don't have anything to show for it. I didn't get any LC capsules, I didn't get any armors, I didn't get any tickets, I didn't get any Tisha weapons. Literally everything in the uh, featured item drop list, I didn't get a single item out of that entire list after 10 runs not even a regular arms refiner so um at least for me the rates were pretty bad so personally i wouldn't farm it if you want any of the featured items however again if you are going for titles this is amazing because you're guaranteed the same specific bosses to spawn every single wave and you just kill them and it counts towards your titles now something to keep in mind about this limited time quest is 
If you fail to protect Truck Coon and Truck Coon actually loses all its HP to 0%, you automatically fail the limited time quest and you do not get rewarded any loot. That is a very important thing to understand. So if you do see anyone AFKing in this limited time quest, just insta report them. This limited time quest specifically, it's incredibly punishing if you do have any AFKers in your group, simply because it does require the number of people to actually kill everything. We tried doing this with eight players or nine players and we actually failed it. Um, even though everyone was active. So um, I don't believe the HP scaling scales down to the number of players. Um, so just keep that in mind. And um, yeah, this limited time quest, personally, I do not recommend farming it. Um, but if you are going for the titles, again, it's perfectly fine to just bust that out so that you get credit for all of those rare mobs, especially those rare bosses, such as the dragon. The quartz dragon is pretty annoying to spawn normally if you're just in Dracent Plant. And then, of course, you also have the Doldorus. That's also pretty nice that it just spawns there. So, um, yeah, if you do need kill credit for all of those different bosses, the limited time quest is great. But other than that, yeah, I can't really recommend it. And last but not least, I want to talk about the AC Scratch Cyber Comfort. Because over here, when we look at this outfit over here, it might look a little bit ugly. However, what people don't realize is you can actually hide parts of this outfit. So if you hide the base wear ornament too, it actually hides the little uh, thing around your waist. And if you hide the base wear set one, it actually makes the clothes sleeveless. So if you are going for a soldier look from Final Fantasy VII, you know, maybe you want to cosplay as Cloud or something, this is definitely pretty good since it does have the baggy pants, the boots already. And by using this as the base wear, you do have a lot of room to customize and make things look pretty, which is pretty awesome. Now, unfortunately, the casual wear over here, there isn't anything that you can hide from this dress over here. So, um, you know, you, you just kind of have to deal with it. But nevertheless, it is a base wear again. So you can put outer wear on top of it to uh, customize it to your liking, which is pretty nice. Another thing that I didn't see yesterday was actually this weapon camo over here. It applies the swords, gun blades, as well as the rifle, but it's a pretty cool rusted buster sword. So if you're really motivated to go for the cloud look, I think this might work pretty well. It kind of looks like the buster sword, just like a really rusted version of it. But nevertheless, that is pretty awesome. And another thing that I also missed is the Emperor Rappy eyes. So if you want the eyes to have like the Emperor Rappy eyes where it glows and it's like RGB, you can actually pick that up as well. I don't think these are too expensive. I take that back. It's expensive. Um, these will probably drop in price because I, I don't think a lot of people are going to run around with eyes like this. But um, nevertheless, it is pretty nice. And it was a nice little surprise when I was looking through all of the different items. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.